Jack her up. Um, I think they just go straight up and down. I can't really remember, but uh, that's what I think. Yeah, like this goes straight up and down. Nope, it goes. As far as it'll go that way, I think. So, let's see if that stays now. Seems like it might. All right. Also, I'm going to order some stainless pipe for here five inch elbow I'm going to uh, bring it closer in just a little maybe five inch elbow 16 inch five inch stack with a flat top would be rain cap and uh, I'll bring this up a little bit as well I'll probably move this bracket up a set of holes move this up so it's not setting on here and uh, then this will have exhaust on it I'm also gonna get a if I get that other truck by the time I get home uh, I'll put the air cleaner on need some new hoses as well but uh, let's get you up here a little closer we can see what's going on so walk around the truck Hopefully the uh, microphone don't fizzle out. It does sometimes. But uh, so basically what we got to do here, valve cover, Jake brake, uh, rocker box. Got to come off. And then uh, you see in this area right here, that's where the shaft goes through for the rockers. And it's leaking somewhere like right in here but it's on the inside one so I'm pretty sure it won't be a bad job uh, we can take the rocker box and valve cover and jake off without disturbing exhaust or intake or water or any of that um, hopefully that rocker box isn't, cr isn't cracked but if it is we'll weld it and uh, let's knock it out I'll grab some tools and we'll get this thing done. We'll get it, I'll get the valve cover off and we'll get it to where the rockers are down on this, uh, on the cylinder so there's not a lot of pressure. And then off and on, be right back. Alright, 
and these are that one's a three quarter these are five eighths I also have a jake brake switch pump switch so we may put that on today too time allowing um, looks like we have We got at least one valve down, uh, so we're going to have to rotate it a little bit. Also, I see a broken Jake wire right here. We're going to fix that too. Let me grab some more tools. Now you gotta be careful we don't lose any more nuts down in the oil pan. Oh, that sucks. Yep, that sucks bad. I don't know what we're gonna do about that. Because, man, that sucks. Yep, don't know what we'll do about that. What happened is, so these studs go through into the head and then a nut holds the, the uh, rocker box down. Um, yeah, it should work. It should come off. I was panicking, but I think it'll, I think it'll pop right off there. Okay, there are no, there are no washers to be concerned about and so up it comes and we'll set this right back here because it's only going to be off for a little bit all right so now we're going to uh we're going to crank the engine over until all of these valves are up right now um we got one exhaust valve open and uh that's no good And I don't have that super long um, socket, so we're going to be doing these with a wrench. All right, well, that's where we're at for right now. Remember what how much fun it is putting these uh, push tubes back on. That that nut's broke. So we're gonna have to find a nut for that. That's the second one of those I've broke. Um, and that's interesting, but, uh, yep. Super interesting.
we'll have to find a nut. Uh, hopefully I got one on that other engine in there. Because uh, some of them don't have jakes, right? And these are jake nuts or something. So I pretty much got the valves uh, down, so this should come up now. We just have to make sure when we do this, when we put it back in, we get the push tubes all back where they belong. Mm -hmm. Start with the uh, hard with those studs in, but up it comes. All right, now we're going to give it a look. Yep, looks like it's just a seal. I don't know if you guys can see that, but see this right here? That's the oil leak. And it looks like it's just coming out of the nut. I don't see a crack. So we're gonna get Alan. We'll try and take that out. We'll be back. All right, guys, so this uh, O-ring, we're just square and hard. It goes in the end of this thing, it's a plug. And it was just running out of there. So we're gonna go ahead and we put a new one in this old, old one's just wore out. So let's put it back together, eh? Whew. Man. All right, so basically I'm just wiping the oil that might have migrated out of this gasket when, uh, when I took that off, just to save myself the drama of thinking it's leaking again. And then uh, I'm gonna take this rocker box I'm gonna start it down this is gonna be super hard doing this by myself uh, but we're gonna we're gonna try and just ease this on down Okay, so it's not where it needs to be, but at least it's down far enough to get started. All right, so now I'm gonna need a little, little pointing device. I'll be right back and we'll get those push tubes lined up. Okay, so I think I got those in where they belong, and I'm going to put this was the first one, I think. All 
I should uh, run that nut back out. Okay. Well, they're all in there. This is going to get a new wire, as I see this wire's cut. I thought they sounded a little weak, but I wasn't sure. I need to make that, need to take that off and put a gasket on, because you guys all know that that was going to leak like a bitch. Come on now. Okay, looks good. May need to replace those jig gaskets. Don't have any right now, but uh, may have to. All right, so one of these nuts, oh, it's split off. Um, the thing is, I put one of the non Jake nuts down there. Damn it. Okay. We're going to keep doing it until it's right. Didn't really notice that uh, initially. I mean, I did, but I didn't think it would matter. And it does so and actually I think this one is one too so those two are both gonna come off and uh, put the right nut in there all right so I did a little bit without you like I always do but uh, I just forgot to turn you back on That one's broke off. And remember, this is only 25 foot pounds. But there it is. Finished. Now I'll clean up my mess and uh, we'll see if it runs. Run, but I'm going to put a key in it and flick it over anyway. That figures. At least it's easy. All right, we'll see. You. All right, so I don't know if I had you even recording at that point, but uh, I tested the jakes and they didn't work. Uh, this back one didn't work, so we're gonna see if we can test it while it's uh, while the valve cover's on.
So that odd man out there uh, doesn't work. I knew it sounded a little weak, but it does have uh, does have two of the three stages working. And uh, I'm going to get a hold of JP, and he's going to hook me up with a new with a new brake and uh, you know it's an oddball anyways and put that valve cover gasket upside down there's a right way and a wrong way and you saw me do it the wrong way now watch me do it the right way but yeah I wondered um, it is the solenoid is pulling in but uh, it's just not doing anything and so you know I think rather than dink around with it I'll just take a picture of the ID tag on the other ones and I'll get one more that's the right part number this one is an oddball and it is the wrong part number so um, I have some off the other motor or one maybe not really sure Alright, so now what I'm going to do uh, is I'm going to tighten up the belts because they are uh, loosey-goosey up here. So I'm going to get up there and see what it's going to take and I'll bring you up there. And then uh, an adjustment bolt that slides this fan up. These belts look good. Uh, so I'm just going to, uh, I'm just going to loosen these up. And uh, see if I can't adjust it. I'm going to get a little uh, penetrating oil and uh, touch that bracket a little bit. It is a, uh, that is the right model number brake, that green one. Uh, it's a model 430, but it does not work. So um, I'm going to see if JP's got one. And if he does, that's good. And if he doesn't, I will, uh, I'll just get the rebuild kit and rebuild this one. Bolts, slider bolts, and, uh, we'll tighten these up. All right, guys, so, uh. I walk back around the truck and the thing says device disconnected stopping recording. That's cool. So, not sure if you saw that, but I just, there's four bolts on the front of the fan. Loosen those bolts up, tighten down the screw, it brings that up, tightens the belts. Once you get them tight, retighten those uh, four bolts and you're golden. So, uh, off that gasket surface make sure it's nice and dry then we're gonna go for a drive and make sure it doesn't leak I'll be back
come out of there. All right, guys, so uh, here we go. We're going to go on a little drive. Um, the brakes are super touchy initially. I know there's uh, something going down, something going on in one of them. But, you know, we're just going to try and keep the camera upright. take us a girl for a drive all right let's see uh, let's see what you can see If you'll stay up there or not. We'll see what happens. All right, guys, so uh, that's it for today. That's it for the month. Quick update. Uh, still need a drive shaft for Dolores. Uh, some air tanks, some air lines, radiator, plumbing, and that thing's ready to go. Uh, candy, oil leak is fixed permanently. Done. Did it. Needs uh, one Jake brake rebuilt to work third one don't uh put some put some turn lights on it some turn and stop mud flat brackets need uh need to replace that cross member touch up the paint put the backup lights in get the flaps 28 inches long 24 by 28 or whatever trisha uh airline nightmare fix the dash crystal um not sure what we're doing with that yet other than that we're good to go uh the new white truck uh that you've seen i uh have an agreement to purchase it my hair's mess sorry have an agreement to purchase it waiting for them to find the title also have an agreement to purchase another truck that uh i'm not going to mention exactly until I know for sure that it's a deal. And then one more super surprise truck in the store that's a couple months down the road. And uh, 
then that's it for me for a while. We get these things done and uh, all of them are the way I want them, then maybe we'll move on. But for now, thanks for coming by. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you.